Mana is actually going to be our ninth major touring production um, as a company and Mana itself, the word Mana, stands for um, the power within and what we're doing with Mana, Mana has two kind of sides to it, it has a religious side and a spiritual side so we've created two pieces that kind of reflect the spiritual side of Mana and the uh, religious side of Mana. We have dancers coming from Spain, we have dancers coming from Germany, Japan, um, South Africa and then the UK and they've all got different cultures and what they do they bring some of their culture to our organisation. I'm Julia Robert from Barcelona and I train at the London Contemporary Dance School so I have been living in London for six years now and I work with Jasmine Bardem and Dance Company and yeah, now I'm here. <laughs> I'm Yukiko from Japan, Tokyo, and I've moved to London um, like five years ago, then now uh, I'm working with Ace. Uh, my name's Ione, I'm 24 and I'm from Birmingham, so this is home for me. I'm Rudy and I'm 24 and I'm also from Birmingham. I'm Sophia, I'm from Germany originally, um, where I trained as well. I'm Tiffany Bell, I'm 24 and I'm from Dorset. I'm Chantal Ibird, I'm 23 years old and I'm from Leeds. My name's Jerome Wilkes, I'm from Leeds, not far from here. Uh, I studied at the Northern School of Contemporary Dance in Leeds uh, for three years and got a degree. And since then, this is my second production with Ace Dance and Music. We are human beings first. And we given people the opportunity to make mistakes, given people the opportunity to be in a space where we could just don't judge, just be yourself. And I think that's why people come to Ace and when they come to Ace, they say they feel like they come to a family. And we like to keep that because it's really important for us. That's Ace's signature. The cultural exchange, we work with artists from all over the world, Japan, China, everywhere with different cultures. And when we bring them in the space, we treat them just as real cheap. Brother, Ace are known and we have done in the past, maybe for the last 10-15 years, we have always worked with other choreographers or other musicians, other dancers who have come from all parts of the world. And then we've worked with a South African choreographer for a number of years actually and, he, and a South African choreographer worked with us on Manor as well. You have to change your state of mind and State of mind is in for what the choreographer wants, whether they want something that's quite dramaturgically um, precise or whether it's more uh, aesthetic, so if, whether it's more about the dynamic of the movement and what the movement looks like as opposed to the narrative of the piece. You need to change your mindset in that way. I suppose, as well as physically, there's um, different ways of applying yourself inside of movement. With Vincent, he, he had the whole piece planned out already I think he, we, we didn't we didn't have any creative tasks so it was one thing that was nice about it is we could really get into his his movement he could really um, tell us how he wanted it and he had all the material already set. Jose's was a little bit more challenging for myself because of the style was very different to what I'm used to so I found that quite difficult in the first two two and a half weeks to pick up the movement and actually get into my body. Jose works a, a lot of, um, or it seems to me to be a lot of, yeah, some release moments but then attack alongside it so you have, the, yeah. you have to find the balance of feeling free and loose and not holding tension to then suddenly have a hard dynamic power behind your movements. For me, mana is like outside force or almost like a higher power that even ob object or us or the space or anything can have some sort of power that it's really hard to explain but even when, you, when I'm dancing I can feel it.
ACE are quite known for using quite a lot of digital technology. We've used lots of projections and making it look all kind of um, technical and very, very modern. But this time we wanted to actually go back a little bit with MANA. And MANA um, is really about the movement and the music because MANA itself, like I said, is a kind of spiritual and, and religious word. Um, so it has quite a lot of meaning. So this time with uh, MANA, Compared to other works, this is really about the dance and the music and getting that story across.